I know these videos don't uh, do so well, but that's not the point. I know talking about the depression stuff helps people out, and that's a large part of why I do it, even though it kind of exposes me to blowback from, from trolls or whatever. But um, yeah, that's why I do it. So I finally decided to bite the bullet and apply for the benefits that I might be able to get. So that's uh, ESA, which is Employment Assistance, um, Earnings Assistance, and uh, PIP, which is Personal something. I forget the exact meaning of the acronym, but they're two payments that, according to MIND, I probably qualify for. Um, it's not something I really ever wanted to do, but... I'm in this situation where my income's irregular anyway, you know? I'm freelance, working in a niche industry, and it's really all I can do at this point. I've been trying to apply for other jobs, and it's just giving me uh, uh, panic attacks and anxiety, thinking about working in an office <laughs> alongside people, having that weight of responsibility and... and and so on. Working for myself, I can work at my own pace, I can take breaks if I need to. It's not the absolute end of the world, though it is difficult, you know, if I'm sick for over a month, like I have been this last month. It's all about the little victories then, like making a video each day, or you know, accomplishing anything. <laughs> really, to be honest, is, is a big bonus. So, you know, just, just going to mind in Andover for help was a big thing you know going out like that into town kind of fucks up your whole day you know <laughs> there's the anticipation leading up to it there's the come down I guess because it tires you out social interactions and dealing with all this shame and stress and so on so they think I can possibly get help on those on those two items so I guess that's what I'm, I'm going to apply for. But this being bureaucracy, you can't apply online. You either have to phone or you have to print out a 62-page form. <laughs> they do not make it easy for you. Uh, I don't think people necessarily understand how difficult it is to get any of this stuff. You, you have to qualify. You have to do an enormous amount of paperwork, which is daunting, uh, especially if you're in... in in my position, where you got no energy, no oomph, you know, no, nothing at all, <laughs> really. I'm not in any real condition to deal with this. I'm going to have to get someone to to help me. And the the just the shame of the whole process. I mean, these two women were perfectly lovely, perfectly nice, you know, dis disarming, um, understanding. Dealt with cases like mine with people whose lives are, do not fit in little neat bureaucratic boxes um, but even so there's still this weight of shame and it's stupid it's so stupid if it was anyone else I would be saying make sure you get what you can in you, what you're entitled to get, get the help that you need but because it's me it feels horribly shameful and I know there's going to be trolls and critics and nasty mean people picking up on the fact that yeah I'm going to end up uh, applying for, for help they're going to take that as me being a scrounger or not working hard enough or, or whatever else but it's like a full time job applying for and keeping any kind of benefits anyway you know I was employ unemployed for 18 months after after the dot com crash um, and that was before things were as, were as bad as they are now and it was still horribly shameful. You know, that was just going to a job centre with plenty of other unemployed people in the area. Um, and everything you do, everything you say is treated with the, the utmost suspicion. And when you're like me and I was unemployed but I was occasionally picking up a bit of freelancing, you have to pick you have to fill out this stack of forms every every week, every two weeks. Um, and any tiny bit of money that you make pretty much is 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 taken away from any money that you would have otherwise got. 
So you're given extra work that takes away <laughs> the money that you are getting. It's, um, yeah, it's not good. And it's not easy. Uh, not at all. Yeah, if, if you're a scrounger, you've got a lot of work cut out for you to, to be able to scrounge, you know? Uh, and I'm someone who's honest on these forms, often often to my detriment, I suspect. I hate having to do it, but the future's uncertain. I've been unwell for the last two months or so, barely able to do anything. Um, so what choice do I have? I, you know, I have to come to terms with the fact that I am legitimately long-term sick um, for all I might seem chipper and capable and whatever in these videos yeah this is this is my best face in a lot of ways it's not really reflective necessarily of how I feel or how ill I am uh, you you wouldn't want to see that <laughs> to, to, to be honest <laughs> And I'm fine. I'm I'm coping. Before anyone thinks this is some cry for help or or something, it's just keeping you up to date, I guess, and letting people who don't know know just how hard it is, how shameful it is, how much social pressure, how much bureaucratic pressure, and hurdles and hoops to jump through that there are to get help, even if you've been ill for years. It's it's not easy. Uh, this is just kind of catharsis, I, su I suppose. Talking to faceless somebodies out on the internet about it all. I really don't feel good about doing this, but it's a way, weirdly, perversely, of kind of pulling my weight and making things a bit easier. Zang.